Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Unicorn Callie, and today I'm going to show you my five minute stretching routine for back pain. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So before I get started, if you haven't already, make sure you click on the subscribe button down there so I can see your comments. And you can always find me as at, at AskDrJoe.com. So this five minute stretching routine for the back is gonna be a real time routine. So if you wanna follow along with me, you can. So we're gonna do just a 45 second warm up, and then we're gonna do 30 seconds twice for each movement. So with the back, you really wanna do each side. So we'll just do, if it's an each side thing, one on each side. In general, if you've watched some of my videos, you really, the gold standard is 30 seconds three times for each thing. But I realize that a lot of times people don't have 30 to 45 minutes every day to do their stretches. So really doing a quality stretch versus the quantity of time is gonna be just as important. So a five minute stretching routine is really gonna help you along the way. So that's how we're gonna do it. I've got an app on my phone that'll just kind of keep us kind of going. And so I'm just gonna start the warm up. All we're gonna do is just while you're sitting, you're just gonna kind of arch your back one way and then roll it forward. So it's almost like a seated pelvic tilt. This is just to kind of get the back moving a little bit. If you want to do the pelvic tilt lying down, you can, but you can also just kind of do it sitting. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and lie down so you can see it as well, this warm up. So a pelvic tilt is just bringing your back down and coming up. So again, this is just warming up the muscles a little bit. You're not really holding it for an exercise or a stretch, but you're just getting it moving. You can also just kind of do a side to side, like you're pulling your hip up towards your shoulder, just again, to get that low back loosened up a little bit. So now we're gonna go into stretches and we're just gonna start off with a knee to chest stretch. And it's just like it sounds. You're gonna bring your knee up towards your chest. I like to keep the other leg bent up. You don't have to, but I feel like that helps support your back a little bit. If you happen to have knee issues, you can grab underneath here, but if you don't, you can really just hold on top to give yourself a nice little push. Breathe in real deeply, and as you're breathing out, you can push in a little bit more to get that stretch. Then you're just gonna switch sides and do the 30 seconds on the other side. So again, you can probably see maybe I have a little bit of tightness. The left hip is one that I had surgery on a while ago, so it's still not quite to 100% yet. But again, just pushing in as you breathe out, just get that extra little push and you can see how it goes a little bit further. But it should always be comfortable, it shouldn't be painful. Knee to chest is a nice way just to really open up that back and get that good stretch in there. So now we're just gonna take a little 10 second break to move on to the next um, stretch. And so the next stretch is gonna be a trunk rotation. So you wanna keep your knees and your feet together. And then again, it's just like it sounds, you're just gonna rotate your knees over to the side and hold that stretch for that 30 seconds. Now my bottom area, my hip is coming up a little bit, but my shoulders are staying on the floor or the bed or the couch. You don't have to do it on the floor if you have a hard time getting up off the floor. You can do these on your bed, but you don't want your shoulder coming up too. You wanna keep that shoulder down, but your hips can come up. And again, just, Breathe in deep as you're letting out everything. Just let your muscles relax. And a lot of times you can go a little bit further down. Then coming up and then just rotating to the other side. So you can see my feet are coming up, but they're still staying together, just like my knees are. And so my, my hip comes up off of the floor or the bed a little bit, but my shoulder's staying down. It's not coming up into that rotation. So that's important to get that stretch in the back and really have it feel nice. Um, a nice good stretch. But again, really breathing in deeply and then letting everything out helps those muscles relax as well. So that's a nice way just to kind of get everything loosened up. So the last one's gonna, sorry, not the last one. The next one's gonna be just sitting up. And so it's gonna be a QL stretch and the QL is in the lower back. So the side that I wanna stretch, I'm gonna bring this arm up and over and I'm gonna just kind of push the other one down. That QL stretch is kind of in the back there. And it's one of the muscles, the quadratus lumborum, that really can sometimes cause back pain, but people don't think about stretching it a little bit. So I'm pushing towards the opposite corner, and then I'm trying to almost sit down on that side, leaning this way while I'm pushing up that way to get that extra stretch. And you should really feel it in that QL area right there. And then you're just gonna switch to the other side. So pushing down, 
bringing up and across and then pushing over to that hip. So my left arm is up and over and I'm pushing that left hip or pelvis down into the floor bed some more to get that stretch. Almost like I'm pushing the bottom part this way and the top part that way and then pushing my hand down to get that nice stretch through that QL or that lower back area. And this one's a, a nice stretch and it'll really loosen everything up. Right. So the next one is gonna go into a child's pose. Child's pose is probably one of my favorite stretches because I feel like it stretches a little bit of everything. So just kind of, you can start on all fours and stretch your hands up a little bit and come back down onto your knees. Or you can start on your knees and then stretch your arms out. Whatever's more comfortable for you. But the goal is to really be relaxed and let it stretch. So you see my shoulders are getting stretched, my back's getting stretched, my hips, and even my knees and my feet. You really want to try and bring your feet. So if I'm looking through my knees, I can't really see my feet. So they're not rolling in. Mine try to do that. But try and keep them straight. Come back up and then go back into that stretch. So then you're getting the, the feet stretching as well. Eventually you want to get your head all the way to the floor like this, but if that's too tight that you can put maybe like a little block or roll up a towel so you can still relax while you're there if this isn't quite comfortable enough for you. You can also bend your elbows a little bit more if you have some shoulder pain just to get that stretch in there. And then the last one is just going to be a simple cat cow, or I like to call them cat dogs. But you want to get your hands right over your shoulders and your knees about maybe two fists width apart. And all you're going to do is come up into the cat. You're going to arch your back and tuck in your chin, tuck in your tailbone, get that stretch, and then come down into the cow or the dog. So you're dropping almost like a saddle on your back and bringing your head up almost like you're looking towards the ceiling. So with this one, you don't want to hold each one for 30 seconds, maybe just a five to 10 second stretch and just alternate back and forth. But the key to this is you're really trying to get that big stretch in there. See how I'm really dropping my hips, bringing up my hips, arching up, tucking my tailbone in, tucking my chin in, dropping everything down like a saddle and really bringing that chin up. So I'm talking through it, but really doing some deep breathing is a really nice way to get this stretch as well. And this feels really, really good on the back. Oh yeah, so there you have it. Makes you sleepy, that five minute stretching routine for back pain. If you'd like to help support my channel, make sure and click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe. Where could we? You already sleep down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.